Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sheila's Critical, Steffi Snoops, Ivy Shocks Liam. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, April 30th, 2024, indicate that Deacon Sharp cannot believe they've set up Sheila Carter. Cleric asks John Finn Finnegan is Sheila is alive. Steffi Forrester tries to call Finn Hope Logan believes Finn must be with a case. Ivy Forrester arrives to meet Liam Spencer. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Liam is thrilled to see Ivy after all this time. Ivy talks about visiting her uncle, Eric Forrester. Liam commentary on how good Ivy looks. Ivy admits that she thinks about coming back toll.a. Occasionally. Liam threatens to call Eric and tell him she's moving. Ivy is sorry to hear about Liam and Hope. Ivy heard that Thomas Forrester left Hope, Liam confirms this. Ivy asks if there's a chance of Liam going back to Hope. Liam says neither of them are ready for that. Liam gets on well with both of his baby moss. Ivy says a lot of people suppose Liam is fantastic. Liam says if he didn't know more, he might suppose Ivy is flirting with him. Ivy offers to telephone it back a bit and he says no. Ivy thinks about Liam a lot. Ivy has ent forgotten how close they came or how close she wishes they had come. Ivy kisses Liam and says she remembers that utmost Ophal, Hope and Steffi sit down to work. Hope knows that Finn is helping someone. Steffi thinks about her discussion with Finn. Hope returns from dealing with a customs issue. Steffi asks how Hope is doing. Hope says change has been challenging but she's making the stylish of it. Steffi asks if Hope is seeing anyone. Thomas has ain't been gone that long. Hope asks if Steffi wants her and Liam to get back together. Hope and Liam have had some important exchanges and that has been good for them. Steffi asks if Hope is going to make a play for Liam. Hope tells Steffi she needs to worry about herself and Finn. Steffi is transferring over the spring collection. Hope tells Steffi whatever happens between her and Liam is between them. Hope brings up how important stress Steffi has been through. Steffi says Sheila is gone. Sheila's eyes begin to flutter. Finn says Mama, it's Finn, you re alive. Cleric promises that Finn will take good care of Sheila. Deacon asks if Finn has any idea how to get relief of this chain. Sheila asks for help. Deacon says they're going to help her. Deacon says Sheila needs to get doused. Finn tries to give Sheila a drink and she starts to cough. Cleric wonders what's wrong, Sheila looks ready to pass out again. Sheila smiles at Deacon, he no way stopped believing she was alive although everyone allowed. He was crazy. Finn watches and Cleric and Sheila smile at each other. Be sure to catch up on everything passing with right now. Come back then frequently for the bold and the beautiful spoilers, news, and updates. Change Sheila needs medical help, Ivy confesses to Liam flirting. The bold and the beautiful, BMB, spoilers recap for Tuesday, April 30th, reveals that John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, checked Sheila Carter's, Kimberlyn Brown, palpitation along with her pupils. Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, managed to rip commodity down, which allowed light to shine in the structure and gave them a better view. Sheila eventually opened her eyes and asked for help, so Finn was pleased to see she was alive. Deacon assured Sheila that they were going to take good care of her, but there was a chain keeping her in place. After Cleric set up a bottle of water, Sheila managed to choke some of it back. Since Sheila was glutted and dehydrated, Finn said they demanded to get her to the sanitarium. Cleric gave Sheila a bit more water and talked about how everyone said he was crazy, but he no way stopped believing she was alive. Finn sounded emotionally affected by the sight of Cleric hypercritically kissing Sheila's head and savoring his reunion with her. At Forrester Creations, Steffi Forrester left a voicemail for Finn and admitted to Hope Logan that he was ent picking up. Hope assumed Finn was off saving lives and suggested whoever was in Finn's care right now was in able hands. Steffi ultimately asked how Hope was doing, which led to her fishing to find out if Hope was seeing anyone. Hope realized Steffi was actually hoping that she got back together with Liam Spencer, so she admitted the wrathfulness and resentment had calmed down on both sides. 
That didn't inescapably mean Liam and Hope were reuniting romantically, but Steffi still asked if Hope was going to make a play for Liam. Hope suggested it was Aunt really Steffi's business and prompted her to concentrate on her life with Finn rather. After Steffi reflected on all the challenges she'd been through, she was glad to put Sheila behind them since she assumed Finn's birth mama was no way coming back. At Ayal Giardino on Tuesday's BNB occasion, Liam let the waitress know that notoriety differently was joining him, notoriety he had not seen in a veritably long time. Ivy Forrester entered the eatery soon after, so she hugged Liam as they verified it'd been too long. After Ivy said she was just passing through Los Angeles, she refocused out that she listed a long stopover so she could spend some time with Eric Forrest. Ivy refocused out that Eric was trying to get her to move back to LA and work in the jewelry department, but she was just glad to see him healthy. Liam asked what Ivy's secret was since she just looked so happy and beautiful. Once Ivy admitted, she occasionally allowed. About moving back to Los Angeles, she suggested her life was too busy in Sydney to walk down from. Indeed so, Ivy had a wee LLC station and suggested she could no way say no way. After Ivy said she was sorry about Liam's bifurcation, she admitted she heard Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, left Hope. Ivy wondered if Liam saw himself going back to his Hope now, but Liam said they were in a place to jump back in, though he couldn't make a vaticination about what the future held. Ivy eventually talked about how fantastic Liam was and admitted she was flirting with him. Although Ivy offered to telephone it back, Liam told her not to. Ivy said she was not trying to be forward, but she allowed. About Liam a lot and had not forgotten all the good times they participated. Once Ivy reflected on how close they used to be, she also reflected on how near she wished they'd come. Ivy kissed Liam across the table and suggested about flashing back how great it felt kissing him up most of all. Liam looked surprised over Ivy making such a bold move with him. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that on Monday, April 29, 2024, Deacon Sharp and John Finn Finnegan set up Sheila Carter. Slightly alive, Finn called Sheila Mama. Indeed those suckers were sure Sheila was still alive, the actress truly believed the character was gone ever. Kimberlin spoke about getting that surprise call from head pen and superintendent patron Bradley Bell. The actress also spoke about trust from suckers and has addressed the situation. Spoilers reveal that Sheila failed two months ago. When Sheila broke into Steffi Forrester Finnegan's home, there was no reason for anyone to suspect it was anyone differently. Steffi picked Sheila in tone defense. When the body was transported off to the morgue, Deacon asked to look at Sheila's face. Deacon allowed. He was looking at Sheila and no way allowed. Of checking her toes. That was until Janet Sugar Weber. After Sheila's death, Suckers asked Kimberlin if she was really gone. At the time, the actress told publications and media outlets that it appeared as if Sheila was really gone ever. Now, Brown knows that anything can be with detergents and death does not inescapably mean the end. At the time of Kimberlin's statements, however, she truly allowed. It was a done deal. Despite what Kimberlin allowed. Suckers had a feeling that Sheila was still alive. That was verified in the occasion that vented on Monday, April 29, 2024.